Welcome back to our little gold mining operation here in Haines, Alaska. We're still on the hunt for big money in the uh, in the Klondike here, I guess, trying to dig up some gold. I did a little bit more digging since the last time I uploaded a video. Not a lot more. I only really put, like, one more load through the uh, through the mobile wash plant to fill up another bucket. So we have, you know, 1,366 grams of gold on us right now. And, of course, we have, you know, $5,700 in the bank. Um, I could continue to dig here. I, I can't quite reach the... Uh, can't quite reach the bottom uh, at this spot. We could continue to dig here and just keep putting gold through the machine if we wanted to, but I think what I'd really like to do is, uh, is try to get some drill samples and figure out where the gold's actually located on this claim, because we want to make sure we're spending the best time we can when we're digging, actually trying to get the uh, get the best paying soil, so we're not uh, we're not wasting time on things that you know don't really uh, give us that much gold. So you know, less time for the effort to get the same amount of payout I think is better. Um, now, in order to do that, we have a, we have two options. I can actually, I can hire somebody to come in and do some drill test holes for us. I think it was something like fifteen thousand dollars for twenty drill holes. And I'm not sure whether we just pay them and then click on the map and it like just lets us click drill them without putting in the time and effort. In which case, that might be worth it. Um, or the other option is to go ahead and buy the uh, the machine that lets us drill our own hole test holes and see how that sort of plays out. So. Uh, we're going to stop at the, the equipment shop on the way back to town here to, to sell off this gold. Uh, I'm going to see what uh, what that drill machine goes for price-wise. Because if it's, you know, if it's like a multiple of 15000 say like 30000 or 45000 or whatever, it might actually be worth it. If I can get enough money. Because we'll be able to use that, you know, in, per in perpetuity. And so, every time we move to a new claim where we want to do more test holes, I won't have to drop another fifteen grand. Some people have called out on the last video too that it was a little bit dark on the recording because of the uh, the lack of lights. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and keep the lights on as often as possible so we can uh, try and make it a little bit easier for you to see. Uh, I have the uh, the headlamp. Oh, I should. Yeah. Speaking of which, I should probably make sure I turn the lights off. Otherwise, oh, there's high beams too. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to burn out the battery. So I have uh, I have the flashlight with me. That should help a little bit with visibility, uh, and we'll see how that kind of works out. Now somewhere here. There should be the machine that... Oh, there it is right here. So this is the machine that does the, the test holes. 80,000. <laughs> All right, that's going to be out of my budget right now. I do ultimately want to get this thing. But I think for the meantime, we'll cash in our gold, and, uh, and that will let us... Uh, that'll let us at least pay for some, some test holes, and we can kind of figure out where the, uh, where the best gold is going to be on that plot of land, and then uh, we'll sort of take it from there, I guess. So I had to smelt the gold into three separate bars based on how much it was letting me smelt at a time. Like 510.29 grams apparently is the largest bar we can get at any one time. Uh, it says the value of that's these are like 21,700 each. This one's 88.98. Uh, as you can see, the stock price is kind of going down a little bit, but it's not that bad. It's still you know above 42, so I guess that's all right. We'll sell all these off because I need the cash anyway. I can't exactly say no. This is still going to give me a better price than if I sell the gold loose before I turn it into a bar. I have to say though that the the process they added of having to sit and wait for the uh, the gold bar to be smelted, kind of frustrating. Not really a big fan of that particular tweak. It just it's, it ends up like spending a bunch of time just sitting still doing nothing while you're waiting for that bar to smelt. But you know whatever I guess. Just a quick trip back to the claim. While I was in town, I decided to. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Uh, all right, we have a problem. Well, it was in town. I decided to buy the lighting rig. I had it on the back of the truck, but because of the, the lights were so high up, they were blocking my view. I ended up changing from this camera view to the one that's like a first-person camera view, and apparently somewhere along the line, it came unhitched. I didn't even know that was a thing. But apparently it is. Um, I have a feeling I maybe got caught up on the gate trying to get through here, because sometimes it's kind of a tight fit. In, in first-person view, I couldn't see very well. Yeah. Somehow, somehow it became unhitched as I came through the gate. It didn't even, like, get stuck. All right, now I got the truck stuck. Are you kidding me? I, there's, there's just no way. <laughs> All right, well, that's, um, yeah, that's not exactly going to plan. Well, thank goodness this game offers a restore feature. Otherwise, I probably would have had to go and get the excavator to get my truck off the side of the hill. That's a little funky, but... You know, whatever. We got it. Uh, we got it all back here. At least I didn't lose the light system somewhere farther along the route. It was actually actually right here on my claim, because uh, that would have been a much bigger pain in the butt. Otherwise, 
Uh, but that's okay, we have the light rig here, but I figure this will help make things a little bit better when I have to work in a little bit darker conditions. Um, I can see okay basically when I'm playing the game, but for the purposes of recording, you can see how the visibility might be kind of crummy. So there we are with our fancy light rig. Um, now, I want to make sure we're digging in the right spot, so we're going to order some drill holes, assuming I have enough money to do that. I remember it being something like $15,000, but I can't remember whether I had to unlock it or not. If I have to unlock it, it might be a little bit more expensive, but I have a feeling it would be worth it, because at least then I'll know that I'm spending my time you know, the best way possible. Okay, so it was in the old Glen Bank. Oh yeah, so I don't have to unlock it. We can just go ahead with 20 drills. Um, I wonder if they just do them randomly or if I get to pick them. Are you sure you want to order 20 drills for this parcel for 15,000? Yes, I do. Uh, what? Okay. I, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> what that got me. Hopefully, I guess, I thought I was going to get to pick where it was going to drill, but maybe it just does like a like a spread of 20 drill points. Uh, let's check the map here. Alright, so here's our gold map for the, yeah, just did like a random assortment. That's not really helpful. I could see how this could get expensive. Um, this is the Arnold parcel, but it's really hard to tell the layout of where things are on this thing. Can't zoom out any farther. Uh, parcel one. Yeah, this is us. I mean, I, I think I'm over here. And this is where I was digging before. So you can see it's really low quantity gold here right now because we kind of dug all the gold out of that spot. I was really hoping I would get to pick the spots that I would, I would drill. I think I'm going to order at least one more. Uh, because I don't think it makes any sense to have that little information. I mean, it's kind of expensive, unfortunately. Doing it this way, but uh, yeah. So like every time I do 20 drills, it's costing me 15,000. So I do two of these on a claim, that's 30,000 already. I'm already a good way toward just getting that drill machine. I think I'm gonna try and get that next time um, because I'm just gonna waste a ton of money this way. I'm, I'm already down to, you know, just under $15,000 where I had over 40,000 just a minute ago. Uh, so that's not so great. Uh, on our gold map though, this did arm us with a little bit more information. So we can see here, uh, this square here, 115, it's got uh, 9,583 grams of gold in it. Ten, over 10,000 over here, 10,000. 10, this seems like a really good streak right here. And probably these ones in here will be good also based on the dispersion of the gold stuff that's around here. There's some over here near the 10th that are pretty decent. Actually, that's not that good. Never mind, 2,600, that's trash. Um, I think this is where we're set up. It's really hard to tell on this map where things are supposed to be located. Nevertheless, we'll toggle the square here so we can actually, well, I'm going to go to 141 maybe. We'll toggle the square here. That'll mark it on the uh, on the ground for us so we can tell exactly where things are. Uh, we'll bring the lighting rig over there. We'll probably have to relocate our wash plant based on where that's it, this particular parcel. Well, not parcel, but this particular area of the, the map is. Yeah, all right, so I had it kind of figured out already. I guess, I guess that spot that's grayed out is where the wash plant is. And then over here, like actually really close to the wash plant, there's a, some reasonable gold. If I, I, with the excavator, it's probably not worth going after it. Uh, but if I had the front end loader or something, that would probably be worth it, I guess. Uh, so let's set up some lighting over here. Hopefully I can turn this lighting around. <laughs> I've never used this thing before, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Uh, but we'll get this disconnected. While I was, uh, while I was recording, or not recording before, while I was digging in between recordings, I, uh, I ran out of fuel in the excavator. It only gave me like a half a tank when I bought it, so I also bought a fuel tank over there uh, in order to refuel. Um, I wonder if I actually have to, like, can I turn this thing? You know what? I probably have to fuel this thing up somehow. Oh, oh cool, I can open that thing up to fix it. Um, I think this is the, yeah, this is the diesel generator, so I actually have to get fuel for this thing. Uh, once we get the fuel, they can fire it up, and then you gotta figure out how the buttons and stuff work. <laughs> Alright, that's all fueled up. I actually, I, I drained a, uh, drained a jerry can before I realized just how much fuel this thing took, so I brought over the whole refueling thing. So, first we need to start this up, I guess. Uh, yet another noisy machine. We're gonna need to root this in place so that it doesn't move around on us. That's pretty cool. Alright, um, so I think we should be able to turn this thing. Yeah, okay, so we can turn it, so that's good. Man, this thing's slow. Fortunately, you can look around once you start pushing the button as long as you keep it held down, so that's handy. Oh, I can even see the amount of lights casting, that's handy. Uh, I got too far away. Uh, 
Okay, so let's move this, um, I don't know, farther away. Uh, I think I pointed it at the sky. That's not good. Is it even on anymore? What happened here? What's this thing do? Oh, ha, we can make it tall. All right, that works, I guess. Uh, I do have it aimed the wrong way, though. It's definitely definitely shining too far away. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's actually shining up nice and high. It's pointed right at the area that I want it to be pointed at. Uh, okay, so this is where we're going to do our digging, but I have to move the mobile wash plant and everything over. This is going to be sort of a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to keep the clean-out station over here because I just don't want to have to move the whole works right now. Uh, we'll just have to move the mobile wash plant, which means I am going to have to move, unfortunately, the... Uh, Uh, I'm going to have to move the mobile wash plant with the truck, so I'm going to have to drop off the fuel tank there, too, I guess. Uh, so let's drop that down there. Uh, I might as well get the excavator out of the way, so at least we have this out of the road. If I can remember how to, remember how to drive this thing. Uh, there we go. Breaks off, man. Get these lights on here, too. That's a horrible camera view. All right. Uh, whoa. Not the self. Don't put it in operator mode. All right, I think I got everything reset here now. Unfortunately, with the uh, with the mobile mosh plant, it really doesn't take very long to move things around. Uh, which is kind of a kind of really nice. Um, let's try and see if I can make sure I've got the right clearance on this thing. <sighs> gotta remember how to use the shovel again. It's been a little bit. Digging controls. That closes the bucket. That extends the arm. All right. So I'm actually, it's going to be a little bit of a tight reach there, but I think that'll be all right. So we should be in a good shape there. I'm going to set to uh, turn this thing off. Lighting seems to be all set up right. All right. So this is the hole we're going to dig out. We'll see how much gold we can get out of this. Now I unfortunately don't know exactly how much we got out of the last spot. I don't really remember. Um, so I don't really have a good comparison point. And since we didn't drill the holes before we dug all the dirt out last time, I kind of had a loss that way too. So we'll just see what we got. Hopefully we'll get a decent amount of gold. Um, I mean, I think um, I think when I put through two buckets of dirt, that's when I got like 1,300, but that was inclusive of nuggets. So I guess we'll see how it goes with a single bucket. Not a single bucket, but like, well, a single bucket of the uh, the pay dirt, not necessarily like, or like the refined pay dirt, not the, not the rough stuff. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna need to turn on uh, water pumps and stuff. Otherwise, none of this is going to work very well. All right, pump's going. We have water. Let's get the uh, the generator going here. Uh, I think it's the switch over here. There we go. We have power. Just need dirt. That's where the digging comes in, I guess. Now I'm, I it's it's been at least I don't know two weeks or so since I've dug anything. So this is going to be really really messy at first. I need to get a good camera angle on this thing too. I do find it a little bit tricky sometimes trying to figure out. The angles of stuff, but uh, this should be good. I think it was. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn on the launch plan. It's probably an important thing to do. There we go. How can I have missed it? It's yet another noise to add to the pile. All right, so spread this out. All right, not bad. We got like 20% of it in there. So I'm gonna try and get as close to the edge of the line here as we can. Now this top base, the, the top pater, I think if we look at the map here, um, it's not actually really good at the top. So there's like very little up here. It's not going to start getting into the, the better gram counts until we start getting down lower. Because low down is like 10 meters is what they measured anyway. I don't know if the bedrock is farther down than that. Rich spot part 80%. Um, so it might actually, it might be deeper than that. Uh, we're going to find out soon enough, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so sloppy with this thing now. This is one of those games where if you if you played a whole bunch, I'm sure you get really good with the excavator. I remember being better with the excavator last time, but um, it's been <laughs> it's been a long time since we played extensively. Oh, nice nugget for 122 grand.
All right, so it didn't take that long, but we've dug a reasonably good hole here. We have a, a full bucket, uh, and actually, I put too much dirt in. <laughs> I can already see it. It's, uh, the bucket's at 100%, and we've still got dirt going through, so I'm actually losing gold at this point. So that's not so awesome. I think I forgot to turn the lights on on this thing. Uh, let's get this all shut down. I want to clean out this bucket and see how much we got out of it. Uh, so that'll at least give me a sense of what we're going to earn as we kind of progress forward in this spot. Uh, I need to get, actually, I'll leave the water pump over there. We're going to have to transfer everything over here because I, I don't have an independent system set up for my cleanup yet. I probably should have grabbed some more stuff so we could do that. Uh, but that's okay. So we have um, this hose here. If I put the actually a splitter, I could probably run another hose right off of this thing. I think I gotta, gotta coil the hose up while we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, this needs to go first into the magnetite separator. Plug that into there. Uh, we're gonna need power for this as well, so we'll just stick this in here. And I think I put this generator down close enough I can reach it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that's good. Uh, let's start this thing back up again. Still has a decent amount of fuel in it. Oh, we need our bucket of uh, concentrate over here. Let's grab this. Hopefully we'll get a decent payout out of this. So we've already got, um, I got 542 grams worth of nuggets uh, as I was kind of doing the digging. So that's not so bad. Uh, start this up. It's running. We've got water. Let's see what we get for magnetite out of this thing. Our magnetite bucket's at 4%, so we'll see what we get out of it, I guess. Actually, while it's, while it's running, we might as well put this back on the machine. It doesn't, I don't really need to stand there and watch that thing. Uh, drop that here. Alright, it's finished. 3,682 grams of magnetite in the bucket. Um, this can turn off now. Uh, we need to swap all this over. And then the hose. I really gotta get an independent setup for this because it's kind of inconvenient the way I have it run right now. I mean, I guess it's alright. It's not a huge issue, but... Alright, that's running. Okay, so this is our gold bucket here. How much we got in here? Show me the money! 500 and some odd grams we have. Let's see how much this can get out of this one bucket. It's not going up too quickly, actually. I kind of think the spot at Duggo first might have had a little bit better painter, but I did have to dig through some of the soil at the top here that wasn't so awesome. All right, 263 grams of gold. I actually got more than that in nuggets when I was digging the hole, so that wasn't fantastic. Um... I mean, it's it's not bad. It's probably comparable to what I was doing over here, and this is the very first, uh, the very first parcel that we're working on too. So I, I guess I shouldn't really be that surprised that it's not like a huge payout. Uh, but we do have, we do have some uh, some places that we know we can drill that have decent gold now. I've already dug down a little deeper, so we might get a little bit better on the payoff as we go along. And I should, probably should turn this off. Um, so we can at least uh, extract some gold out of the ground here, and we'll continue to pad our wallet there a little bit. Uh, I'm going to continue digging here and see what else we can uh, see what else we can find gold-wise, and uh, disconnect the hose. Uh, and when we come back next time, hopefully we'll have a little bit a little bit more gold money to work with, so we can try to look at maybe some other equipment and stuff. I, I think I should probably stick with the mobile wash plant for a little bit before moving to the wash plant that's in place, because this one kind of needs the front end loader to be particularly effective. And then that's going to lead to having things like um, the rock trucks or whatever that you need to haul pay dirt and stuff over. I think I actually, uh, based on what I dug, I, I kind of, whoops. You can, oh, so you can see it kind of clips through the ground there a little bit. I can't tell whether I can, I can't tell how much deeper that is. The perspective is maybe a little bit funky, but I don't think we can reach the bottom of the excavator I have. So we're not going to be able to get all the way down to, uh, to bedrock here. Uh, but as long as we can get most of the gold out. But uh, thanks so much for coming to check out the video. We will be back to continue our gold hunting adventures and see what other wonderful treasures we can find in here. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.